Hello, everyone. It's Robin Nash with Hot 97.5 and 103.9. And sitting here with the one and only, the most incredible violinist in the whole world, Lindsay Sterling, everybody. Oh, thank you. And we have our winners oh, here. Yes. Private passes to be oh. part of this exclusive experience. So welcome back. You're from Gilbert, and I saw your mom is here. My mom is here with me. Um, it's been a really fun day. I went like back to my high school this morning and did like a pep assembly for the kids there. It was the first time I'd been back to my high school um, you know, since I graduated. So that was crazy. My mom's hanging. It's just been a really fun and day. You've got your dog. I've got Luna. Is this, is this your dog from LA or your dog from home from oh, Gilbert? Oh, this is my dog. She travels. She lives with me in LA. She travels all over with me. It's She's very so chill. calm and chill. Very it's like chill. the greatest dog. She literally is the best travel. Yeah, I'm talking Aww. about you. friends with her we've met in the past and like we met at a, a festival that we were both playing at and we like kept you know we've tweeted each other and like wanted to do stuff together and finally this was the right project and um anyway she kills it her voice is so unique it's so recognizable i love who she is as a person and just she just represents so strongly like this confidence of just owning who she you does. are and like loving yourself in your own skin, which I think is really, I feel like I'm very good at doing that in art, like loving my art and being unique in that and being proud of it for its uniqueness. She embodies that in herself as just a person. And I think that's so cool. So did you meet her dad? No. Her famous father is no, Rob I Schneider, haven't. if nobody knows that. <laughs> right, I've not met the, her dad yet. <laughs> okay, so part of the family, because you know he does all those Adam Sandler movies, so I'm obsessed right. with that. Yeah. Now you told me earlier something about your new album title. There's a meaning yeah. behind that. What is that? Yes, so the album is called Artemis, and Artemis is the goddess of the moon. And I just really love all the symbolism that comes with the moon and with, you know, this, this goddess character. And so I got super excited about it. Not only did I write an album that, like, follows these themes, but I wrote a comic book in tandem with the album that will come out well, a few weeks later because I didn't quite finish it in time. But um, it tells the story of how she became the goddess of the moon and how she um, brings light consistently in consistently to the night and I think that that's such a brave thing it's one thing to like be bright and bold and shine when the sun is out but it takes a lot of courage to stand alone in the dark against like Nyx the goddess of the night and she faces her every single night um, and uh, and I just think that there's a lot of powerful symbolism for all of us in that and that the moon is sometimes bright and beautiful in the sky and it's full of light and then other times you would look up at the sky and you can't even see it because it's covered in shadow and if you didn't know better you might think that it didn't exist anymore and I think that sometimes that I felt like that I felt like I've been covered in shadow whether it was through depression or anxiety or loss or whatever it is I was going through and I've mistakenly thought to myself you know maybe this is the new me and maybe death changes you and I'll never be the same again but just like the moon comes to full light over and over and over again like we can all rise through our trials we can get past our hardships and embody being powerful and strong and just because we're covered in shadow doesn't mean we're not still there wow so that, like you, like, i just wow, went on a spiel wait what a crazy uh, <laughs> incredible reason for your title that's so deep i love that thank you i'm the type of person that when i see the full moon i'm trying to take a picture of it while i'm driving home I'm like i'm gonna get into an accident i'm trying <laughs> to take a picture it never comes out on your camera i'm obsessed with the full moon so yeah like, I'm really into that, too. And just everything you said, I'm going to think of that now every time I oh, awesome. look up at the moon. That well, is I love amazing. that. Well, thank you. 
I'm obsessed with America's Got Talent. And if you guys didn't know, Lindsay Sterling got her start. She was discovered on America's Got Talent when Howie Mandel was on. Simon Cowell wasn't there yet. No. Are you happy he wasn't there and yet? He, yes, but unfortunately, Piers Morgan was. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, you know, the lesser of two evils, I'm not sure. Do you know you inspired other violinists because in the last two seasons? Yeah. Have you seen them? Those two I always get two tagged kids? in, yeah, I always get tagged in like, Lindsay, there's a violinist on America's Got Talent by like my fans. And so oh, last yeah. year I got to actually perform in the finale with Brian King Joseph, which was awesome. So much fun to get to go back on the show. It was such a positive experience to be like a mentor for someone and to like, you know, come back to share just the little nuggets of like what I've learned with this person that I'm like, oh, I know what it feels like to be in those shoes. I know how terrifying yeah. it is. And, um, you know, now there's this little guy that's on it this season. I he got know, the golden he's buzzer. So he's so cute. And, you know, what an inspirational story so i'm really excited to see where this journey i love that you're following that i do I you were it. also on dancing with the stars so which is your favorite of the two oh, <laughs> dancing with the stars a hundred thousand percent that show was like a dream come true yeah. it was so much fun um and i don't know i've always wanted to like take lessons of, in dance i'd never been taught before and um so i just absolutely fell in love with ballroom it was such a dream come true it was also one of the hardest things i've ever done it was, it's exhausting and the amount of practice and we were on tour at the same time so like wow. flying back we and did forth both. did both at the same time not smart but i the opportunity fun, came yeah. up and i was like i can't turn this down i don't know if they'll come to me again that show people are like knocking down their door to get on it so the fact that they came to me i was like i don't know if all this opportunity again i'm gonna go for it you and got I paid would, to learn to dance and i got to learn to dance yeah, from amazing. some of the best choreographers yeah. and teachers in the world mark ballas um I loved it. It was so fun. And I was so sad when I finished my last dance. And I was like, oh, I'll never, I don't know if I'll ever get to put on my ballroom shoes again. <laughs> have you? I have, actually. I've thrown them on a time or two for a video or for, like, just I've gone out dancing, you know, every once in a while, just pull them out. And you're like, I kick ass at dancing. I'm really good. Yeah. <laughs> See if I still got it in my heels. Well, you dance a lot when you're playing violin anyway. So you've yes. just got it going on. Did it make you a better performer Absolutely. on stage? Absolutely. I really feel like it helped. Like, because like I said, I been self-taught and I'd worked with choreographers before but I'd never been trained mm -hmm. and so having like someone there constantly telling me like turn out your foot hold your core like just all these little tricks that I was like oh that's how it's actually done um you know and dancing six hours or eight hours a day for three months will definitely make you better at something so yeah I'm jealous oh, amazing experience you gotta get on there Bobby can you Bones, make a phone call Bobby I would love Bones to be can do it you can do stars. it you know I would love to yes I was so happy for you, and I was like, how did she even get this opportunity when you performed with Celine Dion? Oh. How does that even happen? You're telling me. I don't even know. I got that phone call. Would you like to perform with Celine Dion at the Billboard Awards? Like, jaw-dropping. Yes, like, I love Celine. Um, to this day, I think she's my, my biggest name drop. If someone's like, it oh. Big, and I was like, oh, one time drop. I performed with Celine Dion polish it up a little bit yeah um she's amazing she's such a gracious person she you know she came up to me like I, she floated across the stage <laughs> and she was like hello like thank you so much yeah. for performing with me and I was just like did she call you thank out you. did you find out that she was your fan and asked for you um I I don't even remember how I'm pretty sure it was like a manager situation thought this would be a good idea I I don't think it came directly from Celine but I didn't care I'll take it however whatever plate it came on I was just excited to be there and you know actually my mom and I were at the Billboard Music Awards the following year so I had that moment performed with her on stage talked with her for like five minutes that was it and then the following year backstage at the Billboard Awards she, again she comes floating down the hallway perfectly and then she stopped me and I thought well there's no way she said Lindsay good to see you oh thank you know that was so magical last i could not believe ah, that she remembered she me. remembered me like it just shows what kind of a person she yeah. is and how caring she is and that she may and there you know and her manager was with her and she's like she's like that she remembers everyone like it's important to her and so anyways big Celine Dion fan um that is an amazing story if you guys haven't seen it you have to YouTube this. It is, it is so <laughs> it was, incredible to see. It's a magical moment of Good. my life for sure. And I, I also that. have to say, it was funny before you guys came up, I'm sitting here talking with Robin and, you know, she introduced herself to me as Robin. And then as we're talking, I was like, wait, are you Robin Nash? <laughs> and she was like, yes, I am. Robin. I mean, I lived here, <laughs> what, 11 years ago, I think. But I was like, oh, my gosh, I listen to you every day when I would drive home from high school with the all request lunch. That's so how old I am, too, doesn't it? Hey, you know, I'm right there with you 10 Thank years you ago. So much but I was so excited to see yeah it's like I I know who you are I listen to you and anyway so good memories listening to Robin Nash
Thank you, Lindsay. Driving home. I love that. That yes. makes me feel so good. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I was very happy when she said that. Yeah.